Assalamu alaikum doctors in this video I am discussing a communication that is whooping cough or pertussis so the task is that pertussis with apnea talk with the mother about the plan of management so pertussis is a jargon jargon all the scenario you will say whooping cough okay so we will tell that we will tell that uh, whooping cough as usual we start with IRCAP so first introduction report clarify the rule agenda and the prior knowledge asking uh, we need to admit him because his breathing stopped completely, which we called apnea. We need to attach him to apnea monitor. It is a special device gives us an alarm when his breathing is stopped completely to let us to help him. Also, we need to give him fluids through blood tubes to cover any fluid loses or salt disturbance he has. Also, we will give him antibiotics. So here we admitting the child. Why, why we are admitting the child because we need to admit him because his breathing stopped completely which we called apnea we need to attach him to apnea monitor it is a special device give us an alarm when uh, his breathing is stopped completely to let us to help him also we need to give him fluids through blood tubes to cover any fluid losses or salt disturbance he has and we will give him antibiotics uh, the mother is telling i do not want to admit him can i know why because i have other children at home and i cannot leave them alone so we can contact the social service. No, I do not leave them with the social service. So you can arrange with the social service to arrange someone to stay uh, here with uh, suppose Ali. Uh, and mom can go home and uh, the social service will take care of Ali in hospital. But Ali is breastfeed. How can I feed him? You can express your breast milk. No, he needs me beside him. Ma'am, it is very important to Ali to be admitted to the hospital as he may stop his breathing again in the home. So it is apnea with whooping cough. So it is very important and urgent to admit because he stopped his breathing. Okay, doctor. What about other children in home? I hope they the, they look they took all their shots. Yes, doctor. Uh, so all the shots they taken or not, other children will check that. So most probably they are protected, but we'll arrange with the infectious disease doctor to see whether they need a course of antibiotics or not. So we will, uh, for other children's safety, we will uh, meeting with the infectious doctor who will, um, will tell that any antibiotics course needed or not for protect them. So what are the complications of this bug? Hoping cough. The complications are dehydration, breathing difficulties, weight loss, pneumonia, fears, and may, may brain damage. Again, the complications of whooping cough are dehydration, breast, uh, breathing difficulties, weight loss, pneumonia, fears, and may brain damage. So how this bug reached to my kid? I am sure you are a keen mom. I am sure that you do your best, but bugs present around us. We just try our best to prevent it. So bug is uh, present around us, so it can enter. If older child no need for admission, he should away from nursery for two days from antibiotic course or three weeks from the starting of the cough. He should cover his mouth and nose when sneezing, coughing or even laughing. Dispose any tissue used and wash his hands and face with soap to water. So if a whooping cough patient come with elder child, what is our responsibility? No need for admission first. Then he should away from nursery for two days from antibiotic course or three weeks from starting of cough. He should cover his mouth and nose when sneezing, coughing or even laughing. Dispose any tissue used. Wash his hands and face with soap to water. So this is all about pertussis. Communications or whooping cough communication. Thank you.